York, wounding five people, leaving more than a dozen families without a place in which to live. The house is in ruins, and this morning, officials want to know what in the world happened. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin live in Newark as the investigation gets underway. Good morning, Tom. The investigation underway, Michelle, good morning, and uh, the light of a new day giving us a, a more a clearer look at the extent of the damage here, and you can see it's truly remarkable. Uh, just behind me, there's concern that the rest of the structure could still come down, or at least part of it. So this is as close as we're getting right now, but you can see air conditioning units dangling off the side of the building. One air conditioning unit actually in the yard over here, and uh, closer to where I am, the yard filled with broken glass, the parking lot as well. And if you come over this way, uh, you'll see Newark police are here, keeping everyone away, keeping everyone safe, uh, but there's still debris in the parking lot. Uh, window frame out here and some video from last night gives you a sense of the confusion, the chaos that developed here just after six. This is a Newark Housing Authority complex. 13 people displaced, five injured, uh, seriously enough to require a trip to the hospital. But uh, a sixth injury uh, is a person who was seriously burned, a woman in critical condition this morning. Overnight, investigators on scene taking a close look at this, trying to get to the bottom of just what happened here. I believe there's two apartments that are currently destroyed, but we're going to clear out the entire apartment complex. Uh, the city of Newark is going, to, is going to assist the housing authority in providing uh, a residential stay for the next three nights and then find a permanent residence until we get this apartment cleared out. So the Red Cross out overnight as well, trying to help some of those residents as we come back out here with a live look at the structure. Again, uh, they're keeping us uh, a good distance back from it, concerned that uh, more of the building could collapse right now. What they were assessing overnight is the structural integrity here and how much more of the building will have to come down. That is unknown right now. 13 people looking for a longer-term place to stay. We're live in Newark.